Hi, folks. This is Don Meisner with the North Country Fishing Report. You know, I, I could start this by saying what's new in tackle. And there's always new things coming out. Sometimes it's just about getting more fishermen to spend money. I mean, the, the lures are designed for the fishermen as much as they are for the fish. And, and that's all fine because some fishermen get a tremendous joy out of accumulating different tackle. I guess I'm one of them. I love having lures that I can hopefully count on, maybe not today, maybe next month, but whatever. But there's another thing that I think you should be aware of is that, that because of technology and because of all the information that's out there, there's some really neat new stuff that's being developed and on the market right now. One of the things, there's a company called Z-Man. And they they make basically their their basic claim to fame is they use a type of plastic that's unlike other plastics in that it stretches and stretches and you can stretch it out and it won't break and it's very abrasion resistant. So when you use these plastics, you can use the same one over and over and over and over. But what's interesting is they they build a lot of small baits. And for this year, they've got a brand new sort of line of soft plastic baits that are half as big as the traditional Ned Rig baits, which are tiny. These new baits are only, on average, an inch and a half long, but they resemble all the different foods that fish feed on, like halgramites and and bugs and, and little tiny lizards and little tiny stuff like this. But... Here's what it here's what it represents to me. A lot of times, this is the type of food fi- the food that fish eat naturally. Whether it's trout feeding on tiny little nymphs and little flies that we can barely see, it makes up a huge part of their diet. And in the fish that we go after, panfish and bass in particular, especially in our tributaries. A lot of their diet is made up of really small stuff. And in the past, there hasn't been any replicas of this, anything that looks natural that is of this size. But here's, here's what comes with this also. By using these tiny little baits, you need tiny little tackle. <laughs> Almost sounds like I'm talking about a dollhouse. But you need tiny little tackle to be able to fish with this. You need ultralight rods and light, light line that you can cast out. But here's the here's another benefit that comes from this, though, is that, number one, I think you're going to catch more fish a lot of the time. But also, a lot of the fish that you catch are probably going to be small as well as big. You're going to catch a lot of little fish that can't get some of that big stuff into their mouth is easy, but they can they can feed on these these little baits, and so by using light light tackle, you can really enjoy the fun of catching these fish. A an eight inch smallmouth bass, which is by the way, it's too little to keep, but an eight inch smallmouth, and there's thousands of them in our streams, with a little light four and a half to five foot ultralight rod and six pound test. It's going to fight like crazy. You're going to get the joy of seeing that little bass come leaping out of the water. Now, granted, you know, we can reach a point where everything we do is altruistic. It's designed to, in this case, for the benefit of the fish. But, you know, catch and release and protecting them so they don't die. But a part of why we go fishing is for our own enjoyment. And for me, that enjoyment is battling that fish. And if if I'm going to battle a little fish, I want to enjoy that battle. So I'll use little gear. And I can't underestimate this. I'm going to tell you, there can be a lot of joy in using light, light tackle. It's easier on your arms, on your wrists. Uh, You can fish longer hours. I mean, I can go on and on. But I think no matter what, you can't use that all the time. You got to use what meets the conditions of where you're fishing. If you're fishing for bass in the weeds, you certainly can't use this little tackle. But in the right instances, in the right environment, little ultralight tackle can be a blast. And this year, there's new tackle coming out that is unbelievable. Until next time, folks, this is Don Meisner with the North Country Fishing Report.